evening everyone. Good evening, uh, uh, Here we are from Group B, Contest of Me, Sirli Teresa, and Yasita Ayurani Kusita. would like to present about our article review with the title Applying to our model to measure uh, online customer satisfaction in package delivery services. Next. Next. So here's the introduction. The paper uh, starts with the explosion of internet population for the technology in terms of speed, efficiency, versatility, and dynamics in the 21st century. Second is the focus country for this. A study study is uh, Bangladesh, which has a promising growth of e-commerce categorically during the past few years. And the third is the impact of digital Bangladesh program by the year 2020 and 2021 has boosted an interest in many small com companies to engage in uh, e-commerce business. And e-commerce companies always make an um, innovation to develop and create a more efficient business model to uh, to meet with the customer satisfaction using technology and innovative customer service for key, key success factors, uh, also known as competitive emphasis or strategic uh, posture. And next is the growth of a start startup. Number has opened up a lot of business opportunities for the package delivery service providers. Next is the scope of startup period has now been broadened to cover a great range of services. If previously the scope of startup period was only limited to uh, between households and company homes, but along with the development and growth of internet technology in uh, in the Era, many business like startup and uh, small medium enterprises on that going online are able to prove that there are new growth opportunities and markets in the package delivery industry. And the paper pioneers in analyzing the behavior of online customers pertaining to the package del delivery industry by focusing on the factors of satisfaction and would approach the new entrepreneurs to embracing the business opportunity with a good strategy. Next. Next, please. And due to the increasingly mushrooming growth of startups and the development of the delivery provider business, it is very important to build a selfish excellence framework in order to achieve the best the basis of online customer satisfaction. Choose the objective of the study is to explore the correlation of online customer satisfaction with service uh, quality in the package delivery industry using quality management framework mean surfball. Uh, the use of surfball framework will effectively measure customer expectations of services and uh, also their per perception of the service they receive. Next, please. Here is the literal, literature review. So the first is the customer satisfaction has always been the reason of customers be buying behavior stated by Oliver in 1993 and McCarthy at all in 2000. And second is that the excellence is assured if it marks up to the expectation of the customer stated by Asuban at all in 1996 and with me and Donnelly in 1996. The third is the notivity and attractiveness of the, the concept online shopping are materialized due to the customer convenience stated by Li An and Zhang Ti in 2002. And the last but not least is the carriers ex as uh, external suppliers that provide logistics management on behalf of an e-commerce startup stated by 
Carly, Bardi, and Lang Langley in 2003. Next, please. Um, for the research station, based on the introduction and literature review, the research station is do the dimensions in the first wall model have impacted the satisfaction level of the online customers by the package delivery provider. Next, please. Uh, here is the research for the research framework. The first one is uh, ensuring customer satisfaction through quality services is the up to the minute strategy for organization. The second is almost no empirical research regarding online customer satisfaction for using the package delivery provider. And the third is feedback from the university student in late 2015 that mentioned if the F commerce. Uh, does not meet the, you know, the online shopping expectation, especially on the delivery policy. Next, please. So, hence, the purpose of the study is to investigate and the, uh, to investigate the influential aspects of satisfaction of online customers, also to judge the level of subscription by online customers to take the delivery companies using the search form model. And under the approach, the research framework is as follows. The service quality dimension will be considered as independent variables while customer satisfaction as the dependent variable. Next, please. Since we, become, we jump to the hypothesis, uh, if the gap between customer expectation and their perception of the actual experiment is low, service quality is considered high. And likewise, and if they, they feel that the performance is equal to or more than expected, then they are satisfied and likewise. So uh, the here are five of the hypotheses that mentioned in the article. The first one is online customer satisfaction is high when tangibility is ensured by package delivery companies. The second hypothesis is online customer satisfaction increases when package delivery representatives are reliable. The third is online customer satisfaction will improve with the level of responsiveness of carriers. Support is online customer satisfaction is high when assurance by the package delivery companies is high. And the last but not least is online customer satisfaction is positively related with empathy of the career personnel. Next, please. Uh, thank you, Jenny. So the next one is methodology. So I'm continuing from Phyllis' perspective for. So the methodology in this paper journal is sampling and data analysis procedure. Here it is. So there are some points here on sampling method and data analysis. So the first one is this journal is using both primary and secondary data. Why does it call so? Because the primary data that they get is from the survey, from the questionnaires. And the secondary data means they get uh, the information, they get the sources from the international journals. And the survey, the survey here means the primary data is taken between October 2015 until February 2016. And this is using the non probability sampling. And they, uh, they are about uh, spread questionnaires in 230 questionnaires and only 205 questionnaires is being accepted. And the last one is they are using the Likert scale. Likert scales means like there are five what five numbers like uh, very disagree, very disagree, disagree, neutral, uh, agree, and very agree. Uh, that's kind of Likert scale, five scales. Or in odd numbers can be three, five, or seven, and so forth. And here's the respondents of the primary survey. So the first one is by the gender. So the female is consists of 43.4%, while the male is 56.6%, which means 
uh, the majority of the gender in this respondents is male. And here's by age. As you can see here, is the highest percentage is by the age of 25 until 40 years old, which means it has a number of 51.2%. And the lowest one is above 50 years old. It's for about 1.5%. Why? Because as you can see that the online package delivery here is from the online store to the customer, which means uh, the active buyer is from the 25 uh, years old until 40 years old because those age is the most productive age, which means they tend to spend more money on uh, shopping and so forth. But uh, the both 50 years old, they're not focusing on buying online store and so forth. So uh, the highest one is in 25 until 40 years old. And the next one is by respondent is by occupation. So what is the majority of the occupation of the customer of package delivery? So the majority is the entrepreneurs. It is by 50.2%. And the lowest one is the jobless, 2.9%. Uh, it is not to mention because the jobless have another priority rather than buying uh, things online. And here's by the length of use. The length of use here means that the length of people who use the online package delivery and the highest one is consists of one until less than two years. It is for about 55.6%. And the lowest percentage that use uh, online package delivery is about in two until five years. It is for about 6.3%. And here's by the respondents of uh, the percentage of availing delivery service. It is the percentage of respondents taking package delivery services from major companies. So as we can see, uh, here, the limitation of the paper is in uh, Dhaka, in Bangladesh. So in Bangladesh, uh, there are several uh, package delivery services. The first one is Continental Courier, Sundarban, and SA, Kaimu.com, and other online delivery options. Uh, it can be mixed also. But by this uh, graph, as we can see here, the highest percentage is held by the Kaimu.com. It is for about 24.88%. It is the highest. And here's the findings of the paper. So here, as you can see that this is the validity and reliability testing. So what does the validity and reliability testing means and propose? So it is proposed to test uh, the questionnaires itself. So from this uh, questionnaire, it, it can be seen that the responder perceived reliability is, uh, there are some scores, the M here is 3.54%, the reliability and the most dominating variable, which is followed by tangibility here. This is the second high. It is by the M is 3.42%, the mean and so forth. And all of this validity and reliability testing is considered or rated as good because as per the Likert skill category. Two more minutes. Oh, okay, sorry, sir because the Cromwell Alpha is maximum 0.6%. So all of these uh, questionnaires is uh, reliable. And the next one, I'll make it quick. The regression analysis, the regression analysis, which means uh, there are five dimension here, uh, empathy, tangibility, uh, responsibility, uh, I'm sorry, uh, responsiveness, assurance, and reliability. And all of this is uh, cannot be rejected. And the next one is here. Uh, the previous one is dependent variable. And the next one is independent variable. So here, as we can see, uh, there's only two which is reliable or, or which is, it has a strong amount, which is the hypothesis two, four, and five. And here's the result in discussion. The first one is dimensional reliability is dominant because uh, the circle method means they are uh, strong enough to be used in the, uh, in the paper method. The next one is customer satisfaction increase when parcel carriers arrive safely, of course, because uh, they expect things to arrive safely. And that's the responsibility of the package delivery. And the next one is circle model play key roles in enhanced online customer satisfaction. And the fourth is when the delivery man is helpful, then the customer satisfaction went up uh, because it is like hukum tarik menarik and so forth. And the last one is tangibility and responsiveness plays no significant role in customer satisfaction. 
And here's the conclusion. So as you can see that the investigation in this relationship between circle model dimension with customer satisfaction towards package delivery is it has a positive correlation. And the next one is circle model was proven to exert a moderate to high impact on the level of satisfaction. And here's uh, the suggestion of our group. The first one is the circle model needs further research in package delivery in Indonesia because this paper is only limited in Bangladesh, but in Indonesia, it should be, there's some kind of uh, uh, methodology or some kind of journal like this because uh, the package delivery in Indonesia is quite uh, large, but still there's a gap and the gap needs to be lessened. That's why the circle model needs to be implemented, implemented in the Indonesian journal in package delivery. And the next one is enhance the technology and system to support the package delivery, which means in Indonesia, for example, I mentioned the brand, the Shopee. They right. have the, oh, okay. Yes, time is up.